Federal High Court Abuja yesterday fixed November 30th for judgment in a suit challenging the disqualification of the governor elect and deputy governor elect Charles Soludo and Oyeka Ibezim for the November 6th Anambra State gubernatorial election. Justice Taiwo Taiwo picked the date after lawyers to the case made their final submissions. The plaintiffs Adendu Valentine and Egudike Chukwebuka or something are claiming that Soludo provided false information in the affidavit from EC9 that is submitted to the Independence National Electoral Commission, INEC, and thus should be deemed unqualified to stand for election. In the suit, Max FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 711 slash 2021, the applicant contended that Soludo indicated in the affidavit that he was contesting the Agota two constituency seats when in fact he was contesting the Anambra governorship seats. Defending in the seats are INEC, the All Progressives Grand Alliance, Abga Soludo, and Ibezim. In their final submission, the plaintiff's lawyers, A.O. Ijeri and Kevin Okoku, argued that having indicated the wrong seat he was contesting, Soludo supplied INEC with false information, violated extant legal provisions, and ought to be disqualified. As against the contention by lawyers to the second to fourth defendant, Ijeri argued that his clients have established that there was a course of action and that the court has jurisdictions to determine the case. Counsel to Abga and Soludo Onyechi Ikwazu SAN argued that the suit was without merit, adding that the court lacked jurisdiction to entertain it. He argued that an error in affidavit cannot be a basis to disqualify a candidate from election, noting that the false information contemplated in Section 31 of the Electoral Act was criminal in nature. He maintained that the false information claimed by the plaintiff was not among the grounds stated in the Constitution for the disqualification of a candidate. Lawyer to INEC, Basha Abubakar, said his client did not file any process in the case and has elected to leave the decision at the discretion of the courts. <laughs> Small, one problem or the other. Nothing that, that will be done perfectly. One problem or the other. Well, to me, maybe there could be an error somewhere, but it is not a ground. It is not any ground for, for disqualification, according to what the lawyer is saying. Now, I was even thinking, say, this man's uh, case that is see, see raging and threatening that he's going to go to court and deal back. But another set of people have come as it's, it reminded me of um, what happened in a those states. Different, different people coming out <laughs> with some kind of uh, unnecessary things just for distraction. Okay, you see Igbo people, what are they saying of your own problem? What, are, what is this one saying? I just said it now that it happened in a those states recently. So who are the people? <laughs> okay, you people are now inviting Fulani, Esme Bukwaram to destroy your people because of policies. Shame on you. Why going to court? Why would they not go to court? Are they not woman be? Which one is Awusa Fulani again in this issue? Who should you blame? Is it the person that took Soludo to court or the judge that we handled the case? Wake up your dog brain, uh, brainwashed person. My brother, you are correct, and I am also aware it will also cost some money to go to such quali uh, quality courts or to whatever this one is, a money that are sup supposed to be given to the needy. I hope a report, a repeat of emo experience is not loading in Anambra. PDP candidates should please proceed to the tribunal just in case. On point, well, let's see what will happen because what APC is planning to do in the nation for me i don't think it will work in anambra please cause or no cause let us be we have made a choice anambra state has made their choice please respect mass's choice for we you must see people that want to say we don't do this now this issue of a, a they will definitely come they will definitely come this kind of people will want to come and put sansan inside other people's gary did it not happen in those states 
they will tell you that say, oh you did not submit this oh you submitted this you did not submit it is that not their way of life these politicians that's their way of life so it is not a big it is not a, a new thing rather it is not at all i foresee doomed and disasters after court judgments a number of people should seek broad face those that are seeking solidus disqualification in court are wasting their time the people of anambra states have decided and that is all and you know they they know how they know the the way they play all these their games at the end of the day they want to be called to be settled oh don't worry we are going to include you they know all this stuff is these guys you think uh, they are serious with uh, this uh, this uh, this qualification they are not serious about it they know what they are looking for they know exactly what they are looking for let's wait for the court judgment we have voted our choice chuku masoludo is our choice so stop beating about the bush and Iberian are wise you are all afraid of fed canons look at their claims nothing will stop soludo to be your governor coming march 17 2022 a number of people have decided court should rest you should have said that during debates <laughs> That is how they do now. Who say this? These guys, they are funny people. APC, make you not leave Anambra alone. No? I wonder, Anambra people decided to, decided, so what is the contesting uh, against it for? Why are you contesting against it? Nobody should think of disqualifying Soludo victory. Please, don't try it even to take Soludo to court. Ah, These guys are radio. At the end of the day, they want to be settled because they know that uh, it's, it will go nowhere. All these their allegations or these points they are bringing will not fly. They know that. They know it will not fly, but just to create awareness. If they don't shake the system like that, you will not know that they are there. You wouldn't know that they are there. They just want to be recognized. It will not fly. It won't go anywhere. But they just want to cause tension. They want to cause uh, distraction all over the place. At one point, the candidates of APC and the Uber we say one thing in another breath if we say another thing it's just like you know it's all over the place we don't even know where it belongs to he doesn't know what he wants today we say oh i didn't say i reject it oh tomorrow you say i will reclaim my mandate i will do this i will do that that is how it has always been so 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 unfortunate so this one say uh-huh let's see how it goes let's see how it goes but what people are saying now is that don't take chances because hmm, uh they say we say happen for far house make it no happen for good house oh. your word is a no for the wise so guys let's say your opinion and have your take on this thank you